Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect, where in the previous episode we continued construction on our island facility and got a fair way towards getting prisoners, and that included the construction of the cell block, the linked shower, infirmary, morgue, obviously all of the power and storage area, offices, staff room, kitchen and canteen, and almost the, probably the most important thing, arguably, is the massive wall that surrounds this. In fact, we have two walls and then some water, so hopefully this is quite a secure facility. In this episode and subsequent ones we want to do a couple of things. Mainly it's working towards getting prisoners which means we need to do the visitation rights at a minimum just because those are needs that I think we need to and that we need to meet and also do a full uh, heat and weather pass to make sure that all of the areas are warm and are not going to get the prisoners suffer from I was going to say suffer from exposure but that's actually now a modifier a mutator rather so we just don't want them to have that uh, really 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 sort of cold feeling which means you know putting radiators throughout the facility which is a whole extra task so that's going to be quite amusing I also asked in the previous episode whether or not you want to have on these staff needs now at the moment by default the staff don't have any needs because there's no prisoners as soon as we get some prisoners however what will happen is these guards and most of the staff will end up getting tired and once they're tired they will then need to go to the staff room to recover however if you have on staff needs you get a pared down bit from the prisoner needs but you still have bladders bowels um, I think it is uh, environment warmth and food I think the, I think that's the needs for the for the staff which is about right anyway and we have to fulfill those needs so if we turn that on we'd have to do that which means more heating around the place so there's all of that anyway I asked in the previous episode whether or not you want to do something like that and it was a resounding yes we do want to do that there was naturally some people that weren't too bothered about putting on the staff needs and the argument was mainly because they find it annoying and I actually really agree I think it is a bit annoying however we can overcome that and quite frankly the staff needs stuff does fit with the design of the facility the whole point is we wanted to make an island prison that was fairly weather-worn and battered by all the salt and the sea air and obviously that's why it's all rusty and that's why we have to take care of all of the exposure element and the temperature and the weather so adding the staff needs sort of fits that idea as well so we're going to turn it on um, I did ask and do a poll on Twitter as well so like I said it was a resounding yes but uh, anyway we're going to go over to our extras and then to the map settings and then you can see we can turn on enable staff needs we will say yes and ok and there we go. People also mentioned putting gangs on I've ruled that out from the start of the series I'm not going to put it on now it's just not something I want to deal with. Anyway we can now see we have these staff needs so bladder bowels food safety all of that sort of thing and immediately we're going to get probably a warmth need because it's 2 degrees so what I need to do is build another area where we can have a staff canteen now I could put it in this storage area here and I did discuss doing that but I think what we're going to do instead is go over to our foundation more over to the wall rusty and we're going to place the foundation in like so I think that'll actually demolish some of this but it doesn't really matter and that gives us the foundation and space to put in a staff canteen around here and also move the staff room up I'm probably going to put the staff room up the north here and have the staff canteen down there it's not going to be a large canteen it doesn't need to be massive because this is not a huge facility and when we expand if we expand to the other side that was the original series intent but you never know how things go um we we may just build and obviously other staff rooms over on the island because it's there's a bit more autonomous now you may be noticing it's taken quite some time to get there that's because the workers think that going around here seems to be the best course of action rather than just sort of scooting around this side for reasons that I cannot fathom but we shall see how this goes anyway as you can see there's people on break there because they now get a break one of the advantages of having these staff needs is now we can have the max st staff taking break and we can alter that and also in our policy, is it policy? Uh, no, there's one place somewhere where I can I can give the staff more cash, but I can't see where that is at the moment. Anyway, we'll let these crack on and finish building over here. Won't take too long, and there we are. It's obviously demolished some walls, but no matter. Let's go over to the walls, to the wall rusty. Place that one on the outside, followed by a wall down the bottom there. And then I want to move the drinks machine up there, move the sofa up there. This is all just temporary, you understand. The door from this area can go there, just one little bit further up, because... I like to do something like that and now we have to think about the size of our 
our rooms here. So I'm just going to get rid of that staff room for now. And I'm going to assume that at this stage, let's just put a bit of rusty wall there. We're going to have, I think this is 10. So we could have probably two... Yes, that's exactly 10, so we could have two serving tables down the bottom, and then that means that we could probably have the tables and chairs in like so, and that would be our that would be our staff canteen. So it's not very large, but it should do the job. Now, I'm actually going to make it slightly larger to there, just in case we need to extend that for any reason. I think that'll be a wall across there. I'm also tempted to put a wall across there and, have, and open this up so they can either go out to what may eventually be another dock where we bring in all of our supplies and then this one is solely for prisoners. Or uh, do I not do I not bother with that and just gain this in extra staff room space? I'm tempted for the former. So let's go ahead and move these down, just double-clicking on those and moving them around. Actually, what I might do, cancel that, move that to there because I have another plan coming into play as well. Anyway, over to our walls, and then we're going to place a wall across there, a wall across there, demolish that wall, and then put in a staff door there, which means they can then access this area. We'll put a staff door in the <laughs> staff room because, well, you know, they tend to function a little bit better when they have uh, access to it. Let's also go for a canteen, which is going to be placed in here. Now, naturally, that is just showing us canteen for now until you go over to your deployment and change it to staff only. As soon as you change it to staff only, it does make it so it's a staff canteen. One of the, I think, the only examples of that happening in the game where you don't have to set it to a... You don't have to set it to a particular room so normally you would say over in here it's like you've got cells and padded cells see it doesn't automatically generate padded cells if you put padded stuff in it whereas you know the, the weird quirk in this one where if you change it to a canteen a staff only goes to a staff canteen would much prefer you know that being expanded throughout the entire game but uh, alas we have not that can also be staff only that may be staff only why not storage staff only this is going to be staff only this will eventually well actually might, that might as well be staff only as well and that's okay for now right unpause it here and we will go ahead and build this stuff well stuff contains getting built but the reason i've got this space up here is in case i want to grade it now i don't think i need to if we check over at logistics and the room quality the quality is zero but it specifically says there upgrades will only motivate prisoners with the cleared for transfer dlc only motivate prisoners this is a staff canteen it can be grade zero so it doesn't matter so that is fine we don't need to grade it but i've put the spare bits in here because i'm going to put like radios and things so it will take care of some of those needs also speaking of needs there is a need for a toilet which we don't have in the facility what i'm going to do is put the toilets in like so it's only four toilets, but that should be enough for the amount of staff that we have. And then obviously walls and doors. These walls are going to go across there and then to there. Now, I'm not putting a door on it because as soon as you put a door on it, it splits the room up. And, you know, we've had this discussion many a time. It's very, very annoying, I know, but that's just what we're going to have to do. And now that that's in, we should be able to plumb it in. Now, let's just go down to the bottom. Utilities, large pipe. That's going to run across to about there. Then a water pipe for a star connecting to these to sinks that have not been connected and then finally to the toilets which are now actually we'll probably just do that and there we go that is the hopefully the toilets all connected up however if we go over to our reports and then the needs we'll see that staff needs are mostly being fulfilled other than the warmth so most of the guards will be pissed off yep yeah, pissed off pissed off you get the idea because basically the uh it's a pliskin we've got guard sarge and Pliskin. <laughs> he likes to be called Snake, though. Anyway, as we've seen, we've got a lot of pissed off needs, which means weather and temperature, so we need to sort that one out. But that can be a slightly future us problem. What current us needs to do is work on this visitation rights. 33 grand in the kitty, more than enough to work on that one, but we need to figure out exactly where it's going to go. Now, the visitation room we know is going to be around about here, but I haven't yet exactly decided exactly where, So that, but we know it's going to be around there. The next one is the is the common room. Now, there has been suggestions to put a common room in the centre here and then put all the phones in there and all that sort of thing. Great idea, but it, again, doesn't fit the theme of a high-risk facility. You wouldn't have a pool table just lining the centre of that, so I'm not going to put them in there. But I appreciate 
the uh, thought on that one because it is a little bit of a wasted space it's more for aesthetic touches so that limited to well it rules out all of these buildings because these are already set actually that one in the middle is not yet set but I'm going to be coming back to that at some point so up the top here we have rooms where we can build and one of these perhaps two will become probably a probably a common room down the bottom here I'm very tempted to split this up and have one of these as a chapel and one of them as like a shop or something and the reason for that is because this is where we have the visitors come along anyway so it means we can have the visitor bits in and obviously we also need a parole which can go in the back there so is it five by five I think parole so we could do something like that and then there's another area for classroom if we decide to have it and then there's your chapel which means that we've got this huge space around here that's currently not getting used so we need to think about what we need to do to put in the visitation areas so having a visitation area and this is going to be one of those sectioned off ones where you've got the glass in front of it so it's a visitor booth rather than a table having those in is a bit of a waste of space because going along say to to there for example we've got uh, actually, no, if we go to there, is it there? No, going along to objects 30 to there. That would mean 15 visit booths. But look at all this wasted space. It doesn't work out. So instead what we can do, we can have them come down here. I'm going to use these as uh, objects. And we'll have them coming along like so. The problem is that you've got this like weird gap in the middle, which what I'm probably going to do is put a wall in, in between like that. So you've got one, two, one, two. So you've got two on each side there. So this will be for prisoners. This will be staff only, followed by another wall there, followed by more objects either side. So again, we've got uh, prisoner, prisoner, sorry, prisoner, staff only, prisoner. Same thing. And you get the idea. And that gives us a lot more access and a lot more space. What I'm looking for walls. Like that. So we'll have prisoner, staff only, prisoner, staff only, prisoner. And that will be. Uh, so what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 16, 24 visitation. For essentially a hundred prisoners that's more than enough for our needs it means however we have to expand the area along like so so we can have access to this because i'll have a door there door there and a door there but that's fine so it also is now cut in to this area which originally we designated as security so that's a problem because we want this still as security but we've got all this space down the bottom which we can't really do much with so instead what I'm going to do, we're still going to have this corridor come along, like so, that's going to work out. But we're also going to have a, probably an entrance there. And then this, up to about there I would say, is going to become a common room. So we're getting more space. Obviously this door we will move along now, we might as well. And then, let's just go back to walls, there you are. So all of this is going to be a staff area. We could, if we wanted to, change that door to there, and then go even further don't think we're going to do that and I just realised that no powers yeah we do need to put some power in anyway what else do we need to do that's all fine there I think nice little bit of visitation and nice bit of common room I mean we could shrink it down even further and do that and have a little door there but I, I like the idea of it being the same size as that it's just going to be a bit more aesthetically pleasing and having the door either side like that will allow us to, you know, get them in there and move them around. If we wanted to, we could even go further and do something like that and have a huge common room. And that means that all of these buildings up here are earmarked for other things. If we did that, are we going to be limited for space? Well, let's work it out. So we need, this area here is going to be just for staff only. And this is going to be security. So this could be our security room, which to be fair, doesn't need to be that big. The security room in this place doesn't need to be big at all simply because we don't need cctv because <laughs> we haven't got it and we're not going to have many automatic door openers or phone taps so the size doesn't need to be that big however we do need a kennel and we need an armory so assuming we're going to do something like that would we want to have a corridor along like that which is you know corridor going up to there and then this is a security room and then down the bottom here you have your kennel and then your it would be kennel and it would be a 
security room. Armory, actually. Hmm. Don't really like the idea of it because it's a bit too small. So we could change this to a kennel. How many would that give us? That would give us a total of 12 dogs. Not enough. Not enough for this facility. I think we need more than that. So instead, if we did something like this, hmm, would we want to do that? We could have... See, it's this doors are just interfering with the this entire section. If that was blocked up, let's assume it was for now. Security. Not that we need to designate it as security. It's four by four. And then the army would be too small. But I don't need to designate it as security. But an armory I do. I don't have an armory. So I do have I do have the option for an armory. Armory's there's no minimum size for it. Okay. Right, that could work. Another option then, which has only just occurred to me. Why do you need them separate? You don't. You don't need a separate armory and security room. You can put all of the security stuff in the armory. That's different, isn't it? Okay, I like the idea of that. Let's let's work on that principle. If we're going to have this as a kennel, which we still can. It's quite a large kennel, but there you are. We've got nine there, 18 in total. That wall's annoying, but I may shift it and move it along because of reasons. And then this could be the armory. All of your... Sort of like armory back there. Yeah, I like that. Problem being... It's a huge amount of space wasted if we put this like connection bit in here. So for the sake of that, that door is getting moved to there. This is all staff only anyway, so I don't particularly mind. Oh, but I do mind. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't sit well going there because this is immediately, it's like the high security. If the prisoners are going to attack, well, realistically, they'll probably smash through. No, 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 they're probably going to go that way. That is probably the quickest way. And having that there is a, just a big security risk. I'm probably overthinking this, but instinct tells me to not have it like that. I'll just put the door there. That's fine. And then this area will have... We've got a security door there, and then we'll have one either side, and then that's your armory, and that's your kennel. Okay, we're going to do something like that. We're also going to go over to walls and doors, wall rusty to there, uh, wall demolish along there, wall rusty along there, and then finally demolish foundations along to there, and then that's now a bit better. So that's all sorted and a bit more space around the outside. Right, so we have worked on that. Let's go ahead and build all of that while we've been sitting wasting money. So walls rusty, we'll go one, two, three, four, and then up here and obviously build all of these. These are going to go in. This is going to go to there and then to there. And obviously we do need the doors as well. So the doors will be a solitary door because that's the most secure. Over here we're going to have a visitor door in there. And let me just get this right. There and there, followed by a standard door, which will go in... Where do I want to put this? One, two, three. And let's see if any of that functions. I'm hoping it does. But sadly, <laughs> what's actually happened is they've bricked themselves in. Because, you know, they're smart like that. I'm going to prioritise those doors. And one worker, hopefully, will come along to fix it. No, because they literally there's, there's no way for them to go out. They've, all of them have bricked themselves in the walls. Well, that is that is a brand new uh, a brand new thing. I don't think I've seen that in quite some time. Certainly not to that level. I've seen I've seen them 
lock themselves in things, but not not all of them together. <laughs> and then now that lights up there. Okay, electrical cable. That's going to go along like so. Actually, do we need to go along like that? This is going to come down to there. The other one go along to there. And yeah, we might as well do something like that. And then that hopefully will power all that up. We will need this coming down to there anyway, so I'll run that cable because that's going to have metal detectors on it. So we might as well go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and go for visitation. Designate all that as visitation. And then, because I have to, I have to place three visitor tables. This is not going to have visitor tables in the standard, but we're going to use them because that's what the grant requires. So one, two, three. Bear in mind that these here... Well, one or two of them will come into the parole room, so it's not too much of a waste, so that's fine. And now we have this area where we can put a common room. So let's do that. So, you know what? Do I move this down and just have a one walkway? I think I do. I know I said it wasn't going to be great having that, but we just gain more room in the common room. Not that I think we need it all, you understand, but... There you are. So let's go ahead and do that. Common room. And there we are. Pool table, two TVs, five phone booths. So, phone booths we're going to have in this canteen, I think. We we're originally going to run them on the top and bottom there. Or at least have them somewhere. This is going to be a bathroom in the back here. So, we might do that. Or we might have them in the common room. Haven't yet decided. Maybe column A and column B. They might, might be in both places. So we're scrolling down. We're going to need TVs. Large TV is possible. Something we don't normally go over. Let's put a large TV in there and see, see what, what it works like. Uh, is that going to register? You have to set at least two TVs. So it will register. The large TVs are something I don't normally place. But you can see the <laughs> area effect is huge. Um, so let's, let's put those in. And it is... Yeah, it's, it's that. I mean, it's, it's ludicrous. We don't need two TVs. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. So that is infinitely more than the standard three by three, the standard nine for the other one. So we've got that one there for the large TV. Do I put another one in? I don't think we really need it, do we? So we're probably going to just do the old grant trick and just put it in when we need to. Pool tables, however, we are going to put in. So we will put a pool table in. Table football, table tennis, pool table. Pool table will go... Where's the best place for them? Probably up here. One, two, three, like that. And build these five phone booths. And we also need pool tables. In terms of gra uh, not grants, in terms of room quality, you can see that's uh, quality of three. Requires chess tables, computer stations. I don't really want this at anything other than grade low. I don't particularly, I don't particularly mind if it goes any higher. But hmm, yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see. It's actually average now because of the size of it. So by the time we fill it with other things, it probably will be higher. But anyway, let's go ahead and put in some phone booths. We're not putting them in the everywhere you might expect, but we're going to put them... Do we need this central area clear? Probably. This area back here, though, it's very large. We're going to shrink it down. We're going to shrink it down, probably just the one space, actually. Like that. And that will allow us to have... The entrance there, like so. Hang on. That's not right. It's that. There we go. Yeah. Because it's going to be a, like a bathroomy type area. And the phone booths will go along the top and bottom. So it means when they're in here... Phone booths. When they're in here, they can use this phone booth. And... Like that, because I'll probably put a wall there. Like that. But you know what, while I'm here, let's put this in. Like that. 
And I think that means that almost all lighting has been removed from this, if not all of it. Luckily we have spare lights. There we are. We'll run some power into that. And we need another TV. So, TV. I said TV. Cancel that TV. Dismantle all of these. And let's check the grants. We've got prison acclimatization and engagement, reform through education initiative, and incriminally insane. So, prison acclimatization and engagement assign people to work in laundry and things like that. Well, that's all possible. Apart from we don't have a laundry at the moment. <laughs> so, where would the laundry be? Well, we're not going to have a cleaning cupboard. And we're not going to have people working in the kitchen. I'm also not very keen on the prisoners working in the laundry. So, I think... We're going to have a laundry in here. I was going to originally put it up here. But again, I don't like the idea of the prisoners working in the laundry. Although, I mean, you know, high risk stuff. It, it's not necessarily, a, I guess, something you would remove from them. It's something they can do, but I don't know. It's not what we've aimed for. So, do you want to build it here? If I build it here, though, it's it has immediately ruled out to being just our staff only one. Yeah, we're going to do that. Okay. So, we'll have a staff only. Um, I want... Where is it? Doors. Staff door. We'll put a staff door in there. And I think I am finally going to... I have decided to put that there. Because if we're opening that up, it doesn't really matter. So, there we are. And... Oh! It's actually left that door in. I thought I told it to uh, not clone it, but just move it. Wall rusty there. Dismantle that door. No, I think I've just accidentally placed it. And that, good grief, and that one as well. Right. We'll get there in the end. That's now in. Um, staff door. In there. Back to walls. Rusty walls across there. This is a laundry, like so. So I like the staff only. You can see the boats just come along, nice. And we'll do all the laundry stuff. So in here requires all of the usual things, which because this is now a huge list, it's not actually easy to see exactly what it is. Ironing board's small because, quite frankly, why would you not just use a small ironing board? There's no reason to use the larger ironing boards, as far as I can tell. Um, can we put them next to each other like that? I think we, I think we can. And then it also requires laundry baskets. I'm also going to put in a table. Actually, three small tables because they fit in a bit better. The reason for that is, although it doesn't say you need them, when you get in the new stuff, it sits there. It'll sit on them, so that's fine. And laundry baskets, which, as we know, we can just do that, because they're just going to get shifted anyway, so it doesn't matter. Probably put some more laundry machines in, but for this size, it is fine. That does need some electrical cables and connections, so we will do that. That is now connected up. And also, water is actually being run right underneath anyway, so that actually worked out uh, pretty well, so that's fine. So what we're going to do is go over to here, cleaning cupboard, hang on, cleaning cupboard, we're going to designate this as a cleaning cupboard, tiny little bit there, and then go to logistics, prison labour, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, there's that done, remove all of those because they're never going to work there, and then also remove the room designation, and that means we've got that prison acclimatization. And now we have reform through education initiative, prison manufacturing facility. We're going to go through education initiative just because it's a nice little grant there. And that is all right. So I think that is a nice little bit of building. We've got visitation. Actually, we haven't got visitation done. Let us sort of do visitation. Visitor booth. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's see if any of what I've just done works. Because if that doesn't work, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> the less we say about that, the better. Let's just hope it does work. It should work. It should work. But then again. Yeah, there you go. And how much are the booths? A grand each. Let's just get him done. We've got the money. We have the money. We can get 10 grand anywhere by doing the security procedure certification, which I'm going to do now. And also assign people. Deployment, patrols, blue patrol. Coming along like so. We'll assign a guard to that. Dog handlers on magenta patrol. Around the outside of this. Sign dog handlers, yes. Blue patrol. This is for guards. Inside. Sign guard. And there's that. Done. Another 10 grand. And governmental security ratings is dog handlers and armed guards, which obviously follows on towards this, which is what we need to end up uh, doing anyway. So, 60 grand. Increase the size of the canteen. Got a staff canteen done, staff room done with expanded features, otherwise known as a flushing toilet. Laundry, common room, visitation, overall happy with the build. Come on, hurry up and do that one. There you go. Visitors come along here, the end of this one, all this is prisoner. Much better layout, looks really cool, extremely happy with that. Okay, so we're going to leave it there. Next episode... It's going to be the heat pass, where we go through and make sure that everywhere has got radiators, everywhere has um, temperature stuff, and overall, everything is not freezing. That's the overall goal of it. It also means changing this building in the middle. But I'll leave that surprise till next episode. Hope you have enjoyed this video and the series thus far. Comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.